Hi, and welcome to the self-learning series for Control-M Workload Automation. My name is Zev Gross. I'm the Principal TSA for Control-M Distributed Systems. These series of self-learning videos that you're watching are created to help you with your day-to-day -day tasks with Control-M. The title of today's video is How to Configure an Agentless Remote Host. In this video, First, we will briefly define the meaning of agentless remote host. Then we'll touch on the technology that enables agentless job submission. And finally, we'll go through a couple of examples on configuring agentless remote host. Definition of agentless remote host. Agentless remote host is a remote machine that Control-M can access using standard remote commands. The remote commands provide Control-M with the ability to fully manage job executions. To designate a remote machine as agentless remote host, one simply defines a remote host using Control-M Configuration Manager. No installation is required and no Control-M footprint will be present on that remote machine. To contrast that with designating a remote machine that has a Control-M agent for running jobs will require you to install and leave a Control-M footprint on that remote machine. Even if the footprint is relatively small, Having an installed component on the machine implies that there will be cost of ownership associated with managing and installing the component. For example, when upgrading or applying a maintenance on the agent, you will need to schedule downtime, possibly require root or privilege access to the machine, and you will need to manage the agent account and resources associated with that account. Control-M application uses two technologies to facilitate agentless remote functionality. These technologies enable Control-M to connect to remote machine and run jobs on behalf of an owner. The two technologies are SSH and WMI. SSH, or Secure Shell, is a network protocol for secure data communications, remote command execution, data transfer, and other services between two network computers. WMI, or Windows Management Instrumentation, is a set of Microsoft Windows extensions that provide functionality to manage Microsoft Windows personal computers and servers remotely. SSH subsystems come bundles with all Tier 1 Unix platforms and most other distributed system platforms. In most cases, there is no need to enable anything on the remote machine to start using SSH services. Same is true with Microsoft Windows environments. WMI is packaged together with Microsoft Windows operating system and with proper credentials allows Control-M to submit jobs on behalf of job owners. Microsoft Windows does not come with SSH services, but there are many third-party packages that one can either purchase or download under open source license agreement. There are sizable advantages in using SSH as compared to WMI, and we will discuss those shortly. Let's walk through an example of configuring agentless remote host using these two technologies. First, we'll run through an example using the SSH protocol. After opening the Control-M Configuration Manager, we're going to select the Control-M server where we're going to add the agentless remote host. Select New Remote Host. Specify the host name, Mithra in our case. Then select one or more control M agent that will be used as a proxy gateway to access the agentless remote host. You can specify as many control M agent proxies as you like. When control M server needs to communicate to an agentless remote host, it will run Robin through all available control M agents and use one proxy control M agent as a gateway to perform job submit request. The pool of proxy agents facilitate redundancy in case one or more proxy agent becomes unavailable. The proxy control M agent that is selected will store all job specific information such as the job sysout and job statistics. To transfer the sysout after a job ends, the proxy control M agent uses secure FTP connection that is integrated with SSH services. For cyclic or rerun jobs, the Control-M server will reevaluate 
and select the next best proxy agent from the pool that was specified in this screen. If the target remote host supports SSH services, like in our example, then the proxy control M agents we can include in the pool can be of any platform. Control M agents running on all tier one and most of tier two platforms come embedded with the open source client, which enables the control M agent to connect to the agentless remote host using secure shell protocol. Click next and select the protocol that's going to be used. After selecting the enabling technology, we can test the connection. The test sends a login request to the remote host from the control M server to the agentless remote host, similar to the way we use PuTTY client to connect to remote host. However, no attempt to log in is done at this time. Control M server simply validates a proper login prompt. Click next. At this time, we're going to skip the authentication. This is a whole new topic by itself and there's a separate video that addresses how to authenticate a specific user credentials. To be able to log in to remote host and submit a job on behalf of the job owner. Click next and you will see the summary of the agentless remote host definition. After clicking on the finish, this entry will create and will appear in the CCM. And here we have Mithra. For the second example, we'll step through and define agentless remote host using WMI technology. We will go to the Control M conf Configuration Manager and select the Control M server where we're adding the new remote host definition. Click right and select New Remote Host. Specify the host name of the new remote host. Then select one or more proxy Control M agents that will be used as a gateway to access the agentless remote host. Since we're going to use WMI protocol to connect to this remote host, the only proxy control M agents we can select are the ones that support WMI protocol, which are of course only the Windows platforms. The only two Windows proxy agents that are on this list are the local and the W23WB VMO2 agents. We select multiple proxy agents for redundancy. In case one agent is down, the second will be used to communicate with the remote host. When both agents are up, ControlM server uses round robin algorithm to select a given proxy agent as a gateway to the remote host. With WMI technology, we're able to run jobs under a given owner, but after the job is done, there's no support for file transfer in WMI protocol. Therefore, we will need to define a designated shared folder between the remote host machine and the proxy control room agent machine. The shared folder will be used to copy the sysout after the job is done to the proxy control room agent machine. No files are left behind on the remote host. After defining all the remote host attributes, we can test the communication. The test simply connects using the WMI protocol. However, no attempt to log in is done at this time. Control M simply validates a proper WMI connection. Click next. This time we're going to skip the authentication. As mentioned before, this is a whole new topic by itself and there's a separate video to address owner authentication. Click next and you will see the summary of the agentless remote host definition. After clicking on finish, the entry will be created and will appear in the CCM. The last two points in our agenda is automatic discovery and command line utilities. One does not need to define every single remote host in your environment. Simply submitting a job to a new remote host will initiate automatic discovery process. For every remote host, that is not defined in the CCM topology, Control M server will first initiate a connection to the remote host using default Control M agent communication settings, and if that fails, it will initiate default remote host communication settings. If connection is successful using one of the default settings, then Control M agent or agentless remote host will be created and added to the CCM topology automatically. Let's go to the CCM and see the screens for the default settings. Using the CTM menu, select option 
parameter customization. And then select option four, default parameters for communication with agent platform. These parameters are the default parameters used for communicating to a control M agent. Any given agent which is not defined, the control M server will use the parameters in this default table to communicate to that agent. If there is no control M agent installed, then the control M server will try to communicate and assume that the remote machine is really a remote host. The default parameters for the remote host are defined here. As in this example, a given agent will have a single gateway, which is the local control M agent. The protocol that's going to use is SSH using this port and using this encryption. For the remote host default settings, the protocol is part of the set of values that will be used in every automatic discovery. The last point to mention is the command line interface for agent topology definition. All aspects related to managing both agent and remote host and control M agent definitions we discussed can also be accomplished using the command line utilities. There are two utilities as we saw before, CTM host map and CTM set owner. Please see the utilities guide for more details on how to use these utilities. In summary, agentless remote host implies zero footprint and lower total cost of ownership. To define a remote host, first you need to select from the pool of proxy control M agents that will serve as gateways to the remote host. The multiple gateways facilitate redundancy if there is communication issues. Second, you'll need to specify the protocol that we use to connect to the remote host, SSH or WMI. And third, you need to specify username password or SSH keys for each user that is allowed to run a job on that remote host. This concludes our video on agentless technology for defining a remote host. Make sure to check back and visit our website and find out what new videos we have created to help you be successful in your day-to-day -day tasks with Control-M.